In approximately 10% of the patients, their leg pathology and or the condition of the patient makes them unsuitable for compression bandages or stockings. Under those circumstances, we prefer to use the Circade device. Before applying this device, we take a, an elastic stockinette, which really has no appreciable pressure, and place it comfortably on the leg in order to avoid any wrinkles and in order to protect the skin. In approximately 10% of the patients that we see, their legs and or their pathology is just not conducive to a stocking or wraps over a long period of time. We have found that under those circumstances, the Circade device is an ideal product for use in this type of individual. It begins by placing a stockinette, which is non-elastic, over the leg to protect the skin. Next, we take the device and place it over the foot, and we ask the patient to help us pull it up the leg. And as they're pulling it up the leg, we take a look, first of all, at the foot part to make sure that we have it centered. The foot is dorsiflexed. And then take a look at where the tibial tubercle is. And I prefer to lightly affix the device at this level as a guide. And then I look down the leg and make sure that if I take the lower tab and cross it, and I take the tabs from the foot and cross it, that we will get complete coverage. And usually that is putting it in the position that I have it now. Notice that we turn the tabs back on themselves, which keeps them from getting tangled up. So again, we will recenter the dorsiflexed foot and bring this over very comfortably. And then when we reach this point, on this particular one, I think it's important that we cut it because by doing that, the patient is able to put it into their shoe easily. And uh, this isn't mandatory, but in some cases it works very nicely. And then again, repositioning, making sure we have relatively smooth. The little wrinkles of the, uh, of the nylon underneath are not important and they don't really bother the patient. And then once we, we pull that, you notice you sometimes have to make a little adjustment here because you don't want to get this down too far on the foot. So in this particular case, we're going to put the tab on on this location in order to hold that in place. Next, we take a look at our flaps and try to align them and then let them naturally curve, but again, very snugly. And remember that this is a short stretch bandage and you can put this on quite vigorously because there's a low resting pressure uh, with this type of device. This is in contrast to an ACE bandage. You could never pull it that tight because it would create a high resting pressure situation. And then you want to make sure that, and you notice here, we continue to try to have the patient dorsiflex their foot and at the same time maintain the contour here and the coverage on the heel. And then I just gently wrap this around in order to make sure that I have complete coverage. And as I take a look at this, I see that we have a spot here and now that'll bring that up and we have complete coverage. And by this time, the patient will already be volunteering in many cases. Gee, this feels pretty nice. The next thing that I like to do is then affix the bottom tab, making sure that we have coverage in the area about the medial and lateral malleolus because of this is where a lot of the stasis problems occur. Then next we work our way up the leg and as you can see it's quite simple and it gives quite nice uniform compression. This compression is a short stretch bandage and you can get over 70 millimeters of pressure with ambulation while maintaining a low resting pressure. Additionally, as the day goes on, often these can be adjusted very easily, either as the patient might complain of some numbness or tingling, or what's more common is that the, the patient will complain that it, the device is beginning to roll down because it's getting loose, because it's doing its job. Under those circumstances, frequent readjustment is possible. And this also can be done uh, by two uh, people that you might think of as invalids in that the one, they cannot bend over, but one person can get down on the chair and they can do this even with arthritis while the other person can uh, sit in the chair.